Hi guys, Sam from Everything PSP here. Before we get stuck in, I just want to take the time to say thank you so much to my subscribers. I really had no idea if my content would be of any interest to anyone when I started this, and it's really reassuring seeing people commenting and subscribing to my channel. I enjoy sharing my interests with you guys, and I hope that the content I've been making has been entertaining and informative. As always, if you have suggestions or feedback, please let me know in the comments below. I always read all the comments I get, and I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. With all that said and done, let's get stuck in, as today, I just wanted to share a really cool little plugin for the PSP that allows you to create your own folders for your games. This is a PSP I've been restoring for my little brother for his Christmas present, and I've gone ahead and loaded a bunch of games and movies that I know he will enjoy. As you can see, when I go to the game screen, there are several subfolders. This is done with a plugin called Categories Lite. And I'll link the download for the 6.61 CFW compatible version in the description below. Basically, all you need to do is add these files to your SE Plugins folder. And add this line to your vsh.txt file. If you don't have this text file, you can just create one. Now that's done, you can hop into your ISO folder and your PSP slash game folder and create whatever categories you like. Here I've separated them according to their type, so PSP games, PS1 classics, minis, etc. But you could organize them by genre instead or any other method. If you share the console with someone else, you could make your own folders for each user too. Once you've made your custom folders, Hop onto your PSP and press select to bring up the CFW menu and select Reset VSH. This will reboot the PSP and load in your new categories plugin. Just a note, this plugin does add a very small amount of delay on initially loading into the games menu, but for its usefulness, I really don't mind the extra second or two of processing as this is a really handy way to organize your games. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. As a bonus, if you like the PS5 theme on display here, I've also linked that in the description below for you to enjoy. This one's also a 6.61 CFW theme, so you'll need to be on that firmware to enjoy it. To run CTF themes on custom firmware, you need the CXMB plugin, which I've added to the description also. Put the files in SE plugins and edit your vsh.txt to add this line here, similar to how we added the categories plugin before. It is a good idea to have the CXMB as the first line in your vsh.txt as shown here. Once that's been set up, go to your theme folder and copy and paste in the PS5 theme that you've downloaded from my link in the description. Now on your PSP, press select in the main menu to bring up this screen here and select Reset VSH. The PSP will reboot and now your new plugins are enabled. Go to the theme menu under settings as normal and select the PS5 theme. 
it will apply the theme and after a short delay, the console will restart and load into your new fully customized theme. I really like this one as it gives the interface a modern twist while retaining the layout and functionality of the original PSP XMB. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial, give it a try for yourself using the files I've linked in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Please if you haven't already hit that subscribe button to stay notified of future releases. Once again, I just want to say a really big thank you to all the viewers of my channel so far, it makes me happy knowing someone found my content interesting or helpful in some way. Just a bit of a heads up for the future. I will be doing an LED mod tutorial in the near future that will cover how to add sound reactive LEDs to your PSP, so keep an eye out for that one coming soon. I'll also be doing another complete repair and customization video soon, I'm just waiting for all the components that I've ordered to arrive, so I'm looking forward to getting stuck into that one and showing you guys how you can completely refurbish and customize a PSP. I've also started taking commissions from a local gaming page, so I may also be uploading occasional build videos when I get commissions. So that about wraps it up for today. I just wanna say again, thank you so much. It really means a lot to me actually having people viewing my content and enjoying what I'm putting out, and it's inspiring me to create more content for you guys and try and think of other interesting things that people might be interested in. As I've mentioned before, I'm always trying to find ways to grow the channel, so if you have any ideas of what you might like to see, or if there's any content that you'd like me to cover, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I'm always free for a chat, and don't be afraid to ask a question that you might think is silly, because the only silly questions are the ones you don't ask, and I'm more than happy to sit down and have a chat about what issues you're facing with your PSP, or what you're trying to achieve. I might not have the answers to everything, but I'll definitely point you in the right direction, and trying to help you on your journey into discovering more about these awesome little consoles. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on Everything PSP.